All right, hey Keith, we're just getting started. This is uh, the look with you laying on your side. The camera's coming in the back of your shoulder. That blue cannula you see is coming in the front. To the left of the blue cannula, that's the biceps tendon, the long head of the biceps tendon. Down below here is the biceps anchor. And you've got, you can see you've got a little split in it. I'm gonna put a shaver there, make sure it's not unstable. Just pretty much by definition, what we're seeing already is kind of a type one slap lesion, meaning there's some degenerative tearing. See that? It almost rises to the level of being a meniscal type of injury, like a bucket handle tear, which would make it a type three. But, but uh, regardless, this is what shows up on like the MRI scan and that sort of thing. Doesn't really show up great on, a, uh, on an ultrasound, but certainly on an MRI scan or an MR arthrogram. But like we talked about, we've always got to have a look to see if it rises to the level of needing to be stabilized surgically. And so far, the answer to that for me is no. Let's, we're going to see what else. We know that we're going to be looking at a rotator cuff here. And that's this area here. The anterior part of the cuff looks pretty good. It's this posterior part of the supraspinatus. So we're going to keep looking here. We'll show you some more in a minute. Okay, so now we're looking down the front of the shoulder. The anterior anatomy here looks pretty good. Okay, here is the posterior anatomy. That looks pretty good. You've got a little bit of posterior labral tearing there. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to put the camera in the front and have a look from the front to the back. Two switching sticks, please. Okay, so now we're looking from the front to the back. This is the posterior aspect of the joint. This is posterior labrum. I think that's going to be okay. Let me, can, can you get a hi-fi suture uh, shuttle relay also? We're going to pass a provisional marker stitch across this here. We'll show you some more in a minute. Okay, so we're passing this spinal needle across the kind of the distal side of the tear here, posterior side of the tear. And then we're going to back out the needle. We're going to pull that through and load that with a, a suture. This is going to serve two functions. One is it's going to allow us to find this part of the tendon very quickly when we change positions with your shoulder. And the other is it'll function as a, a suture we can use as part of any repair that we may have to do. So we'll put that there. And now we're going to use that spinal needle one more time, do the exact same thing. Except this time we're going to be a little bit more anterior. And you can see where we're trying to get to. Now we'll have a look at that. Obviously, you don't want to tighten things too much, but that looks pretty reasonable as what we sometimes call a rip stop stitch. Now, let me get the grasper again. So you can see with that permanent suture, this is a very strong suture, 
but you can see how that's going across that split and that'll keep that split from getting worse and if we have to actually add an anchor to this we certainly will but this will allow us to find this area very quickly on the other side okay here you can see we've passed our two ripstop stitches and now we're going to go look in the subacromial space after we do a little bit more cleaning up back here on the labrum okay Okay, hi Keith. So now we're looking, uh, crochet. We've done our decompression, which is our work on the bone spur or anything that could pinch on the rotator cuff. And now we're getting a good look, hold those sutures snug again, at where we put those sutures in. Here they are here. And the key here is as I hold tight with the camera, hold still, and rotate your shoulder, there's no sign of any cuff tearing on this side. It was just on that articular side. And so we're going to tie these ripstop sutures and that should do the trick. In terms of the decompression, there's the work on the bone there and that looks good. You did a little bit of work on the clavicle also which we often have to do. So we're going to go ahead now and take these sutures one set at a time. We're going to start with the blue and white ones. You can see how we can retrieve those so that they're now inside this cannula and we're going to tie those in just a minute. Okay, we're all done here. Let me show you where we're at. As we look back here, you can see the knots that are tied. There they are right there. So there's the one ripstop stitch. And the second one is just parallel to it, just a little bit more medial. And I like the way that looks. Okay. And that's what we're going to finish up with. So we're going to get you back to the recovery room shortly. And uh, hopefully this will do the trick. Okay. Good luck to you now. Bye-bye.